Hello, good morning everyone. Um uh, doing my exam so I'm back to making Jujutsu Kaisen contents as usual. And my first order of business is to talk about how very, very good Sukuna is as a Jujutsu sorcerer. I don't think people really understand how much of a badass he is in like Jujutsu sorcery. I'm not going to say like as a fighter or the rest. I'm talking about like intellectually as a Jujutsu sorcerer. He keeps saying, or he has been saying since this is one of the anime, that people don't really understand Jujutsu. People don't know what Jujutsu is. People don't understand what true Jujutsu is. I think he has been saying this over and over and over. And he has also shown that in a, if he's put in a situation where it is something totally new to him, as long as it has to do with Jujutsu sorcery, he would immediately understand whatever it is that he is looking at. The first time he saw Megumi's curse technique, he saw he just understood once that it had to do with someone in Shikigami's through using the shadow as an intermediary. When he saw Gojo destroy his brain and reconstruct it. Like this was something that he had no idea about or didn't tell him the principle behind it. He immediately did it as well, not just doing it, but also knowing the faults that it had to the point where he told Gojo that after doing it so so and so time, you would not be able to use your curse, your you would not be able to expand your domain expansion anymore. And even Gojo, the person who did it, was not aware of this and he was even surprised when he found out that Sukuna was actually right. And the same case has been shown in different in different scenarios where time and time again he has shown to be very, very intelligent when it comes to Jujutsu sorcery as a whole. I mean out of all the people that experienced being turned into a cursed object, he is the only person to have experienced it once and then replicated it so easily. Even that Maharaga slash is should be should be evident enough to show how crazily intelligent, how much of a genius he is when it comes to Jujutsu sorcery. And I think in the entirety of Jujutsu sorcery history, the entirety of the history. I don't think there will ever be somebody this knowledgeable or this intimate with Jujutsu sorcery as Sukuna is. I think I understand why Kenjaku is is a fan of um, Sukuna now because Kenjaku has lived for more than two thousand years already, so he is fully aware of Jujutsu sorcery. He has seen Jujutsu sorcery grow over the years. And even then, he still gives Sukuna so much respect as a Jujutsu sorcerer and as a powerful entity. I I just think like Higurama was not prepared for the person that is Sukuna, and personally, I do not blame him at all. I I personally I do not blame him at all.